Hi all, welcome to connect to learn Today, we will see the difference between row ID, row num and row number. I have seen many people who are confused with these three terms. I will explain each term with some examples. Hope that clears all the doubts. Let's begin. First, let's see row ID. Each and every record in a database has a unique address. If you use row ID, you will get the address of that row. If you try to access a record using the address of that record, it is the fastest way of accessing the record. One more use of row ID that I have seen is to delete duplicate records using row ID. So let's see some examples how to do it. Let's consider the table employee which has the employee details in it like salary, employee name, employee ID. Okay, so let's add row ID in the query and see what is output. So the first column is addresses of each and every record in the table. Now let's pick a sample employee Adams and note down the address. Okay, then let's change the sequence of the output and again note down the address. The address will be same. So now we'll do an order by employee name and again note down the address for Adams okay can you see the address is same we'll also do a descending and again note down the address which is again the same that means whatever is the sequence of the output the address of the record a specific record is going to remain the same now let's consider how to delete duplicate records so i have created a table employee 1 from the table employee so it has the same set of data let us consider the same employee adams and create a duplicate record for it so i'll insert a record for adams so that a duplicate is created so you can see the last two records are for Adams 4950. Now let us see how to delete it. For deleting, the first thing that we have to do is find out the max row ID that is the address, max address of each and every employee and then delete from the table which is not equal to the max address. So that means all the duplicate records will be deleted so let's see this example just one row is deleted you can see the record 15th has been deleted so we just have one record for Adams now if you delete again zero records will be deleted that means you still have 14 records so in this way you can delete the duplicate records now let's see row num row num provides a sequential number for each and every record of the query output in the same order in which the data is pulled from the database now we'll see some examples let us consider the same table employee and just five columns out of it. If you use row num, you are getting from 1 to 14. So we have 14 records, you are getting row number from 1 to 14. If you change the sequence, order by, you see the row number 1. It is still for Smith. Now if you do descending, Again, Smith will have row number 1. So that means, it retains the sequence 
which is coming from the database. Flow number is an analytical function and can be used wherever you want to do some analysis based on sections that you will be creating. So row number has to be used with over clause. Partition by is optional but order by is a mandate field. Now let us see some examples for row number. In the first example we have done partition by department number and order by salary. So the reset will happen per department and the ordering of salary would be in ascending order. In the second example we have done partition by department number and order by salary descending. So the resetting of row number will happen per department and the order of salary would be in descending order. And in the third example we have removed the partition by part and we just have order by salary. So uh, you will not have any partitions, no resetting of uh, row number. You will have row numbers in the order of high to low that is descending order. Thanks a lot for watching the video.